We're good. Welcome back to On The Go Wrestling q and I'm here with the legendary woman wrestler in independent wrestling, Lufisto. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, pretty good. I thought I, um, it was another belt uh, that I was going home with, but uh, obviously that did not happen because of Nyla Rose. So how long have you been in the wrestling business? Uh, it's been 18 years this year. Yeah. Long time. <laughs> Who are you trained by? Um, my first trainer was a local wrestler by the name of Pierre Marceau and Patrick Lewis and Sorrell. But then after I was trained by a called Jack Shelley in Montreal and the Prue Brothers. And my final training was with Akino and Mariko Yoshida in Japan. So what was your inspiration to get into the wrestling business? Um, I think the first and like the first thing that captivated me was The Undertaker and when I was watching The Undertaker I discovered Alondra Blaze and Bull Nakano and that's how I get into uh, I got into Japanese wrestling that's really who got it, it hooked me up and I was such a fan of, of Japanese wrestling that I wanted to become a wrestler. So how did the whole character of Lufesta come about? Uh, it actually happened when I was in Japan. There was like a Japanese anime everywhere, and I just love the fact that they were so cute and violent at the same time. So that's how I came with the super hardcore anime. With the years, though, it evol it uh, there was the evolution that became the wounded now Ronin, which is more like a Ronin, a wanderer, a lost samurai, since I lost my manager, Pegaboo. So that's how, like, it's just the evolution of the anime that I was before. So what's been some of your most physical matches you've been in? Uh, definitely, I would say Necro Butcher is my toughest opponent of all time. Like, it was, uh, it was the finals of um, the King of the Death matches, and he's definitely the toughest opponent I had. Uh, besides him, I would say Sammy Callahan was really tough, uh, Kevin Steen. Uh, for the women, Jessica Havoc is always really impressive, awesome Kong, and uh, Mercedes Martinez, she always gave me a very good fight. So what's been some of your most um, physical injuries you've had due to wrestling? Um, I think my knee, uh, I've ripped uh, my ACL, my meniscuses. I also have an exploded patella in my other knee. I have three herniated disc, uh, two concussions. My nose was broken seven times. So I would say these are the major like injuries I had throughout 18 years. But, you know, I'm, I'm still good and still fighting. <laughs> Outside of pro wrestling, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I really am a Star Wars fan, so watching Star Wars, collecting Star Wars stuff, uh, Zelda also. Uh, I'm also a graphic designer, so anything that has to do with design, creating t-shirts, logos, websites, I just, I just love to do that. So, and music, I'm a big metal music fan, so discovering new bands, going to see concerts, that's my favorite. So if they made a movie about Lufista, what actress could play you and what would the title be? Oh my god. Uh, I really like the nickname that was given to me by uh, my physiotherapist. She called me the female Wolverine of wrestling because every time I would break something, I would get back in the ring so easily. She's like, you're made of steel, you're not human. So I don't know if that would be a good title. But uh, I don't know. Who would play me? I don't know, somebody short and stocky. <laughs> uh, who's badass? I don't know. I have no clue. That's a very good question. <laughs> I would say the one woman that played, uh, uh, what's her name, X-Men, Famke Johnson. Mm. The one, Wolverine's love interest. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know her name. <laughs> but, yeah, she would be good. I think I need, I need someone more... Yeah, stocky, more muscular, I don't know, or fat. <laughs> uh, so if you had some advice for someone pursuing a wrestling career, what would they be? Uh, just make sure you're in wrestling for the good reasons. Uh, we all strive to get to the top, and we all, we all want to be, at, you know, the best company, and... But, um, like, there's a lot of us who... Um, try real hard but we're not chosen so just make sure that and that was an advice i would given that was given to me by tracy smothers not too long ago make sure you're having fun that you enjoy it when you go in the ring 
you feel fulfilled by what you are doing and um, you know you always want to get your best and even if you don't make it to the top uh, or you know WWE a big promotion just make sure that once you go in there you're still having fun and you know do, do it because you want to push your limit do it because you want to achieve something um, do it because you know there's there's such a great adrenaline when you wrestle that you won't get anywhere else so just make sure that you're not just looking for fame when you're a professional wrestler because you're going to get hurt i mean with wrestling it's it's almost like living learning how to live with pain every day so make sure that when you step in there you love what you do on wrestling today who would be your dream opponent hmm Right now, I would say I really would love to work Sasha Banks. I think she's one of the best right now at NXT. She's she's really small, but she's so tough. Like she um, and I, she every time she wrestles someone, that other person uh, becomes better. So definitely, Sasha Banks would be my top pick. Uh, I would love to wrestle Charlotte and. Um, yeah, I think that the, all the women's at NXT, I've wrestled Becky Lynch before. I would like to wrestle her again. You did? Yeah, I did when she was uh, Rebe Rebecca Knox. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Natalia, I've wrestled her. I would like to wrestle her again. I think she's a very underrated talent, and I would look, yeah, wrestle her again. So where can the fans find out more about Lou Fisto? Uh, the best way is lufisto.com. It's my website, and from there you can go to my Facebook page. I have an Instagram, which is Ronan Lefisto. My Twitter is at Lefisto, facebook.com slash Lefisto. You can follow me on facebook.com slash QA Wrestling, YouTube, the Indie Wrestling Fan. Uh, I'd like to thank Lefisto for her time. Thank you very much. And do you have any closing words? Um, just visit me on my website. And if you have anything, just send me an email. I'll try to answer everyone. And I uh, hope to see you soon at one of the shows. And you can follow me tonight more with more videos coming soon.